morning dear children we are going to continue a science lesson yesterday science lesson what did we see we saw that we can convert any magnetic substance into a magnet by just rubbing on it and also we saw the range of a magnet isn't it now today we are going to do another experiment to find out the magnetic field of a magnet so it is there in the textbook so for that we need an a4 size paper we need a bar magnet and we need a little bit of iron powder so with this how are we going to do find out the magnetic field now as you can see i have kept an a4 size paper this way if you keep it is easy for you to do the experiment so i have kept it inside two books here now i am going to push this magnet under this paper so it is come here now i am going to sprinkle this iron powder on to the paper when i sprinkled this paper here you can see that the iron powder is standing in a particular design isn't it it's very beautiful to see so why is it so it is because we have a magnet underneath and here where is it where is the power felt more here we can see near the poles if i push off this um little bit like this here we can see near the poles the these two are the poles of the magnet so here we can see the power is more and here we can see it is standing in a curved position so this whole area there is magnetic power here in this area isn't it the uh, power of the magnet is felt in this felt in this area so this area is called the magnetic field of this magnet so here on the poles we can see the strength of the magnet is more and here it is standing in a curved uh, position isn't it so this whole area is called as the magnetic field of this magnet now if i move it little bit this side again you can see it changing see it is sprinkled this side that area it is changing you can see now see as i am moving you can see how the iron powder is getting attracted so where near the poles it is standing up so we can uh, feel, know that the near the poles of the magnet the magnetic uh, power is more so the strength of the power is, uh, is more on the poles and then here when you go this side it is becoming weaker and around the magnet also you can see the st strength there so from this we can understand that this whole area is called as the magnetic field of the magnet so we understood what is magnetic field isn't it now you might be having different magnets with you some of you have already brought the magnets using those magnets you have to make different types of toys we can make different types of toys in the beginning of the lesson didn't i show you a fish toy catching fish so in the same way find out innovative ideas and make beautiful toys and take the video and send it to me some of uh, the things i will show you here you can see in this video
Okay. Now I have another question. Suppose your magnet breaks. Your magnet breaks off. This is a bar magnet, full bar magnet. Suppose it breaks. So here I have a broken magnet in my hand. So my doubt is it breaks. So this is the north side and this is the south pole of the magnet. It has broken. When it has broken, what will happen to the poles of the magnet? What will be this side? Which pole will be this side and which pole will be this side? Yes, naturally you will tell this is the north pole and this is the south pole. But what happens to this side of the magnet? Yes, I will explain. What happens is when a magnet breaks, automatically this side will become the opposite pole. This side will become the opposite pole. So, if I bring, now this is north. So, what will be, the, be this one? This will be the south pole. So, to check whether it is like that, what must we do? Bring the south pole together near this magnet. See, it is repelling. If you want to see it more, I can keep it here. So, here, what is happening? It is repelling. Why is it repelling here? Why is it repelling? Because we know the, this side has already become the south pole. And if I turn it is attracting. Why? Because this is the north and the south. And here again if I bring it close you can see that it is repelling. Isn't it? So when a magnet breaks you need not get worried. Automatically this piece of magnet will become another magnet with two poles. So naturally this will be the north pole and this will be the south pole. And what will happen to this, this side? This again will become the north pole and this will become the south pole. So what can we do? When we bring it together we will get another full bar magnet. We can get another full bar magnet if we bring it together. Okay. So, when a magnet breaks, automatically the opposite side, the broken place, that part will become the opposite pole. So, is that clear? Now, here, I am going to ask you a question. You can see I have a pen here. I have a pen here. And I am going to insert this magnet here. Okay. I have inserted this magnet here. This is a ring magnet. Now I am bringing another magnet. Now this both has stuck together. Isn't it? Now I have inserted the third magnet here. Why is it not going down and sticking on this? See? Why is it not? What is happening here? Yes, from this experiment you understood that this down part, I told you for the ring magnet, one side is the north pole and the other side is the south pole. So, this, this side and this side may be the same pole. So, here it is repelling and here it is attracting. Now, if I put it in the other way, we will see, we will turn and see. See, now all the three magnets are not attracting. So, all are standing in the like pole position. So, suppose we, we will see which is the, which is this pole. This is also repelling. So, here we can see that this is attracting. So, which is this pole? The top portion is the south pole because this is the north, this is the south. So, this is the south means what will be the pole on the top here? This is the north pole. This is the down part is the south pole. Then what will be this part? This is the south pole again. And this is the north pole. Then what will be this part? This is the north pole. So you can find out which is the pole using this method. So this is another experiment for you. So to find out the pole of the ring magnet, it is not marked there. So what can we do? Put it like this and then bring another bar magnet which is already marked and find out the 
poles of this magnet and see why it is not attracting or why it is repelling. This question has come earlier. So that is why I showed you this. I hope you understood that one. Now another experiment. Suppose I have a bar magnet here. This question is there in letters SS. Okay. In your textbook this question is there. Now if you look at this bar magnet. This is the south pole and this is the north pole. Now I am keeping two pins at the end tip here. Okay. Now you can see this question is there in the textbook. You can see that these two pins are standing out, diverging, means going out. Why is it so? I am trying to bring it close but it is not coming. Why is it so? What is happening here? Why is this happening here? Do you know? That is because this is the north pole. When you attach any magnetic substance to the pole of the magnet, automatically what will happen? This pin, the tip of this pin will become the opposite pole. That means this is the north pole of the magnet. So if I attach a pin here, this pin turns into a magnet. The magnetic power flows into the pin. So the pin also turns into a magnet. So what happens there? The tip of this pin will become the opposite pole. So what is this one? That will also turn into the opposite pole. So when I stick one pin here and when I stick one pin here, both these are like poles. This becomes the south pole. This tip also becomes the south pole. So when it is like this, what will happen to the tip here? This becomes the north pole. So these two becomes the north pole. So that means here they are repelling. Okay, they are repelling. Now if I attach more pins like this, it will stand here. It is going on repelling because when I am attaching, it is again changing. North pole, this is south pole, this is north pole, this is south pole, this is north pole. I hope you understood. Now, if I keep it the other way, what will happen? It is sticking to one another. Isn't it? So what happens here? This is the north pole of the magnet. This tip becomes the south pole. This is the north. This is the south. Again, this is the north. This is the south. And this is the north. So this you have to learn. Okay. This, uh, this question usually comes for the exam. So why if I keep two pins, why is it diverging? Which one is correct? Sometimes the question might come in a uh, worksheet. Why is it diverging? That is because when a magnetic substance is attached to the magnet, automatically the poles of the magnetic substance is uh, made there. So this magnetic substance turns into a magnet and it also has poles. So this end of which is getting attracted becomes the opposite pole and this will be. So when this is the north pole, this becomes the south pole and again this becomes the north pole. So here and here two north poles are there. So, it is repelling. That is why the pin is standing in that position. I hope you understood all this. With that, we come to the end of this lesson. Uh, and you have to make few magnetic toys. It is very interesting. So, try out to make more magnetic toys and you send it to me. And um, please do the letters SS questions which are at the back of the textbook. Thank you children.